Greetings again, friends. Well, if you're not subscribed already, you should be sure to pay attention to this Beatitude series. So go hit that subscribe button below. Now, it has been an exciting series so far. This is a great study of the Beatitudes, which was that first teaching of Jesus when he was preaching at the Sermon on the Mount. Now, if you don't know all eight or nine of the Beatitudes, then you definitely should be paying attention to what is said here. Uh, so, we introduced the series by talking about what these Beatitudes were. So, go back and look at that video, Be of These Attitudes, if you want to see that overview there. Uh, now, we are on Attitude 3 in this video, and there's kind of a theme that you can see as you look at the three videos. Now, the first one was Poor in Spirit. And that concept and idea, attitude, was shown in that video. The second beatitude covered that we covered last time was those who mourn. And you can see what that is about there if you look at that video. Now, the third beatitude is similar to those two. Uh, so let's jump right in and get into this third beatitude, the meek. Matthew 5, 5 says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Now, meekness is sometimes seen as weakness, but meekness does, meekness does not mean weakness. The Greek word that Jesus used here means mild, or it implies the idea of humble or gentle, and it's even translated poor or lowly. The underlying word for meek is interchangeably used and translated uh, as these different words, depending on the context that is there. Uh, so the attitude of meekness is also one that is talked about uh, in the Old Testament scriptures, and the first occurrence of this is with Moses. We can look at this in Numbers 12.3. It says, Now the man Moses was very humble, or meek, more than all men who were on the face of the earth. Now this is translated meek in many translations. And meek, again, is often considered weak, but it's not. Uh, it, is just, it is just different from the normal way people are. Moses was not a weak man. In fact, he grew in strength and power with God through his life, and we see that in the scriptures. Uh, I have, I've heard people say that a good definition for meekness is power under control, and so that's a good idea. It's of this behavior or attitude that is yielded under the control uh, of the self-control, that aspect of the fruit of the Spirit, uh, meekness also being a part of that. It, it's in several lists in the Bible uh, as well. But, but this is a good definition to think about in reference to meekness. And it's also an attitude that you see in the life of Jesus himself. Uh, look at what was said, look at what he said in particular in Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. It says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle, or meek, and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Now, consider also what is said about Jesus as he rides in on the donkey for his triumphal entry. Uh, this is seen in Matthew 21, 5. It says, Tell the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, lowly, meek, and is sitting on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. Now, just as poor in spirit and 
mourning are referenced in the Old Testament, so is meekness referenced in the Old Testament and the reward that even comes with it. Psalm 37 is a psalm you go to and it emphasizes meekness and inheriting the land or the earth. Uh, it's actually six times in this psalm. And uh, one verse in particular that sounds like Matthew 5.5 5 is Psalm 37.11. It says, But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. So meekness is another one of these beatitudes that's similar to the first two, and it's contrary to pride. Uh, it is, in fact, a prerequisite attitude necessary before you can be saved. Uh, we see this in Psalm 149, 4. Listen to this verse. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble, or meek, with salvation. Now, in that verse, humble is the translation in the New King James, uh, but it's the word meek, uh, the underlying word is. So salvation and inheritance of the earth are in view when it comes to this attitude, this beatitude of meekness. When we humble ourselves and recognize our sin, uh, and when we come to trust in God's plan for forgiveness of that sin. Uh, we trust in what Jesus did for us when he died for that sin on the cross. He was buried, and then it followed by his glorious resurrection. And when we do that, we are saved uh, and have that inheritance of the earth, the same that Jesus has. Uh, Romans says it this way. Romans 8, 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may, that we may be glorified together. The Apostle Peter talks about this eternal inheritance. Uh, he says in 1 Peter 1, 4 to 5, to an inheritance, incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Now, I talk more about the kingdom and about judgment and rewards on this Lessons to Learn Ministries YouTube channel. So go back and look at uh, that kingdom playlist and you'll see lots of videos there, and the inheritance that is talked about in a video like the Bema Seat, which talks about the reward for believers in Christ. So the meek are rewarded because they trust on Jesus Christ, and they will have an inheritance with him on the earth, reserved in heaven, but on the earth when Jesus returns. So other than salvation and the inheritance on the earth, there are many benefits now to have this attitude of meekness, this be attitude that Jesus said is blessed. Consider a few of these other benefits from verses that are in the scriptures. Uh, number one, satisfied. Psalm twenty-two twenty-six: The poor or meek shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. Now, in all of these verses, the underlying word is meek, so I'm including that in the parenthesis uh, of the verse to show you that that's the word. You can look it up and see that this is the word there if it's translated as a different word. The second is guided and taught by God. Psalm 25, 9 says... The humble, or meek, he guides in justice, and the humble, meek, he teaches his way. And of course, we have the verse that was mentioned before in Psalm 37, 11, which is the third thing, inheritance and peace. 
But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. So that attitude of meekness has benefits in the future and in the present. Now, consider a few others here. Number four, uh, you are lifted up. Uh, Psalm 147, 6 says, The Lord lifts up the humble, or meek. He casts the wicked down to the ground. There are many advantages to this attitude of meekness. Uh, number five, beautified with salvation or deliverance. Psalm 149, 4 says, For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble, or meek, with salvation. So, you certainly benefit with an attitude of meekness. Now, uh, there's a, another one of these is number six, judged fairly by God. Isaiah 11, 4 says, But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. So you have equity and fairness coming uh, for those who are meek. Now one other benefit in Isaiah is found. Uh, number seven, increase joy in the Lord. Isaiah 29, 19 says, The humble, or meek, also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. So there are about 30 times that meek or meekness is used, and you could probably come up with other benefits, but I'll just give you one more from the New Testament, and that is number eight, precious to God. Uh, also important to win a husband. Uh, it says, 1 Peter 3, 4, Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle or meek and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. So friends, meekness is an attitude that will bless you, just as Jesus said that it would. So, Continue with us in this study and like this video. Share it with other people. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be ready as we continue this study on the B-Attitudes.